Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. This week has been weird. It's been a really rough week in a lot of ways, and I've definitely not kept to my routines as much as I should. Um, I haven't kept to my schedules as much as I should, and I don't like to make excuses. Um, but I had real reasons. Um, so we're going to talk about what to do when you lose sight of your goals or you fall off the track or you aren't following your routines. How to pick yourself back up and get back into it. So I hope you're working while you're watching this. And if you're not, get a drink, get a snack and settle in because it's going to be a little bit longer than my usual blogs. I have a lot to say and I do have a story to tell at the end. So uh, this week started out rough. Keith had an extra day off work. He was off Monday and we were going to use that day to get some extra listing done and um, get our shipping done early in the morning and just get be productive and do more that day. Um, the day started out at 6.30 in the morning when Keith came in and woke me up to tell me that my hamster was out and it wasn't her fault um the wheel on top of her cage had come unlatched and that was on the floor and she was missing i will get more into that later because at the end of this the story i want to tell is about my hamsters so i got up we went to the store and got the catch and release friendly traps for them for rodents so we could find her um, and that just threw our whole day off so we were productive for the rest of the day but our whole day was thrown off so like when something like that happens it can happen to any of us for any reason it could do with our kids our pets our family life whatever there are times that you're going to be thrown off your schedule and you can't let it like ruin the whole day. You just kind of have to pick up where you were or where you are and get as much done as you can. And that's easier said than done because especially for people like me who are OCD and thrive on routine. One second. People like me that need that routine and schedule once I'm thrown off of my schedule, it is very, 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 very hard for me to get back on. It's almost like I have to get up at the same time every day and do things in the same order. And if anything messes with that, I have a really, really hard time just jumping in or getting right back on track. And um, I think that's something we all probably could work on. So we came back and since he was home and we were doing shipping first, it was kind of a weird day anyway. So. The whole thing with having to run out first thing in the morning to the store and then doing shipping before anything else really kind of made my whole day wacky, but we still managed to be productive and we got a lot done. And the rest of the week, I, I have insomnia and um, my back pain only makes that worse because it's really hard for me to get comfortable and it almost seems like a lot of times... By the time I'm actually falling asleep, I'm in so much pain I'm waking up. Or I'll roll over in my sleep and wake myself up. Um, I do have like sleeping pills and muscle relaxers my doctor gave me. But I don't like to take those unless I have to. Because they make me sleep entirely too much. Like I could take um, the muscle relaxer and the sleeping pill. She wants me to take them every night. I could take them at like 10 and I probably would sleep till 9 or 10 the next day. It's ridiculous. So I try to save those for emergencies, but you know, the irony of that is by the time it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm exhausted and all I want to do is sleep, it's too late to take them anyway because I'm not going to like take them and sleep till noon or two. So um, yeah, this week I just haven't slept a lot. I've been up all night at least, well, Monday, Tuesday, at least three nights, Wednesday, um, up all night, just not getting enough rest and then yesterday I had one of my debilitating headaches um, I wasn't even a functioning human being until about 3 in the afternoon 
it took that long, you know, laying in the dark and taking, um, etc. So it's Friday. I'm making a video. I usually do these on Tuesday. Like my whole week has just been so off kilter. I'm like not on my schedule. I'm doing things differently. Um, I'm trying to get as much done on Friday now as I can to make up for not being able to work yesterday. And, um, you know, I did manage this week every day to do my 30 minutes of posh, the 30 minute method and get at least 10, if not 20 listings up on eBay. So it hasn't been a total failure. It just, it's been weird because I'm so super tired and anybody else out there that has insomnia knows how it kind of is to walk through life like almost in a fog like a cloud you're just like so super tired and you're fatigued and it's just like I don't feel real um, but overall it's still been a productive week I've gotten a lot done that I should have gotten done I've just not done them in the same order at the same time or on, even on the same day and that coupled with the lack of sleep has just really thrown me off my game so my point is this can happen to any of us for any number of reasons and the biggest thing you need to do is not to beat yourself up now there is like an asterisk to that right so if you have health issues or something comes up with your family or you have insomnia any of those things that kind of um, disrupt your day or throw you off track don't beat yourself up but if you are purposely staying up all night binge watching Netflix or reading a book or going out with your friends and staying out too late and that's affecting your work I wouldn't I would still say don't beat yourself up too badly but that's when you really need to have a stern talking to um, with yourself things that are out of your control are out of your control things that are within your control are obviously things that you can control and if you're doing things that are affecting your um, functioning or your work I you need to talk to yourself about it but I always like no matter what tell people don't beat yourself up we all do stupid shit sometimes and um, we just need to not do it again so don't beat yourself up it happens tell yourself that it happens life happens health issues happen um, and just get up brush yourself off and get right back on track however you have to do it if let's say you woke up and you didn't feel good but you're starting to feel better by one o'clock in the afternoon kind of like I did yesterday with my migraine um, you can just jump right into your schedule where you would normally be at one you can reassess your day and um, prioritize your tasks and make sure you get done what's most important and maybe have to learn to let go of some things um, and like I'm doing my videos on a Friday and I'm used to doing them on a Tuesday get up brush yourself off and jump right back into it however you have to do it to make yourself productive and it work for you whether you just jump into your schedule where you would be prioritize your tasks and get done what needs or you know throughout the rest of the week maybe maybe you're sick on Monday so you have to spread Monday's things out the rest of the week to make sure they get done however you have to do it but things will happen in life they're just well it's life I mean what is that expression life is what happens while you're busy making plans um, Things are always going to happen. You'll just have to learn how to roll with it. Roll with the punches and get yourself back on track. And uh, don't be too hard on yourselves, guys. Life is too short for that. So, story time. Okay, so last week we were out at the yard sales, right? And um, I knew that I needed to go out and get some bedding and some food for MC Hamster. And we were going to run that errand after we were done yard sailing. And one of the very first yard sales we hit had um, a whole brand new unopened pack of the bedding, um, a half full pack of the bedding, a brand new bag of hamster food, a cage with a, one of the balls you put them in outside of the cage to run around the house, 
the cage had a wheel, a food dish, a water bottle, um, and it has like a little lookout on the top. It's real cute. And um, they were asking $10 for the whole thing. I thought at the time that the, the cage was going to be compatible with the cage MC Hamster already has. And we were going to be able to connect the two by a tube and like expand her world. So like she would have, I guess, two cages to go back and forth in and have a... The hamsters like to explore and climb and crawl. And um, like I said, they were only asking $10 for it. So I bought it um, thinking, well, you know, worst case scenario... We get it home, the cages aren't compatible and they won't fit together, but I've got a brand new bag of food, bag and a half of bedding that I just pay $10 for. Um, a brand new bag of bedding at the pet store or even at Walmart is like $12 to $15. So, um, so I was already paying less than I would have paid at a store. Um, like I was saving $4, but I was also getting an extra half a bag of bedding and a bag of food. And I thought, well, this is a great deal. Even if I never use the cage, this is a fantastic deal because I'm paying less than I would have paid anyway. So we got the cage home. It wasn't compatible. Um, of course. And I was okay with that. And I kind of like jokingly said, well, you know what that means? I got to get another hamster. And, uh, then Monday morning was the morning we woke up. MC Hamster's wheel was on the floor and she was missing. So we got the um, the friendly catch and release traps. They were like this big. And they have a door that opens and we put peanut butter in them and allegedly if she went in to get the peanut butter it would have closed so we were checking them all the time um, because we didn't want her to get in there and be stuck for any great length of time. And um, Hamsters are nocturnal, so I, I, I was pretty sure we weren't going to see her until at least Tuesday morning because hamsters are nocturnal. And wherever she had gone, she was hiding and probably trying to sleep all day Monday because that's what hamsters do. Um, so I thought we'd see her Tuesday morning. So I woke up Tuesday morning, and like I had said before, I hadn't slept really well, and I'm, I was very tired. Still no Emmy. So um, I thought, well, maybe Emmy's just hiding or having adventures. I didn't want to get sad yet, but I was kind of like certain to get to the point where I was like, oh my gosh, am I ever going to see my hamster again? And uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, it was like two in the morning, my oldest son comes running into the room. Mom, 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 mom. He woke me up. He sounded panicked. He did not sound excited. I told, I, I told him that. Like, he sounded panicked. And when I woke up, I thought the house was on fire. I thought he was hurt. I didn't know what was going on. And he holds out his hands like this. And little Emmy, MC Hamster, is in his hands. And she was real flat. Like, hamsters, like, you guys are probably used to seeing them, like, in their cute little balls when they eat. And they're a little fat. They, like, stretch themselves out almost like a weasel or a ferret will. And they get real long and flat. So she was like this little flat and her tail was hanging down limp and she wasn't moving. And in that split second of waking up and being disorientated, I thought she was dead and I thought he had found her dead. And that's why he came in here with her. And um, I reached out and poked her. I'm like, is she dead? And then she moved and yay, she was alive. So we put her in the new cage because we didn't want to put her right back into the cage where the wheel had come off of the uh, top. We put her in the new cage, and um, this was Wednesday. So she's not, she's supposed to be nocturnal. Um, she stayed up all day Wednesday, just kind of hanging out in this new cage, and she wasn't sleeping. You guys, my hamster was depressed, and you might laugh at that, but I have witnesses. My little hamster sat there all day. She didn't sleep. She didn't eat. She didn't drink. She just looked mopey. So... After we went grocery shopping Wednesday night, I thought, well, let's go get her one of those little igloo houses and maybe she can hide in there during the day and sleep. Just something or anything to get her to like this new cage. So we go into the pet store and I was just gonna look at the hamsters, guys. I swear to God, I was just going to look. I was gonna look at the hamsters that are like her, the Chinese hamsters. Um, they're just so cute. like. They're little tiny brown things with their stripes. I've just always liked them. So I go over to where the Chinese hamsters are supposed to be and um, moved around some bedding. And this little tiny, 
black, pure black hamster shot out. Obviously not a Chinese hamster, but oh my gosh, he was so cute. He was like this big. He was dark black and he was really beefy and he looked like a little bear. And um, I kind of fell in love with him. Like from the minute I saw him, I was like, oh my God, he's so cute. He's black, he's black. And so he um, came home with us. So yeah, I went to the pet store for an igloo and I walked out with a new hamster and um, he actually ended up with the new cage and the house that I bought for that one and then we put um, Emmy back in her old cage and we have rigged the wheel so that it won't come off anymore so even if it tried to come unlatched it couldn't fall off the cage and she won't be able to get out so that's my little story. This week was rough. Like I said, I had a debilitating migraine yesterday. I haven't been sleeping well, if at all. I am so tired. And I've just, it's just been one long struggle this week to um, stay on track and get my work done. And then add in the fact that my hamster was missing and now we have a new one. This week it's just been weird. How has your week gone? Um, and what do you guys... Uh, do when things happen in life that throw you off track? How do you guys get back on track? How do you get back into your schedule? What do you do when you have to take a day off because you don't feel good? Um, let me know all that down below in the comments. And if you would smash the like button, I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are at Flippin' Hippos. Until next time, you guys have a good night.